biggest topic, Pete, that you come back with that you're excited about? Well, it's like what Gil Brandt told me. Uh, you know, he's been going to the Combine for 9,000 years since the Pleistocene age. And uh, he said that uh, he doesn't remember any player creating the kind of buzz, attention, uh, must see uh, more than Kyler Murray. And, uh, hmm. you know, Murray is – Murray, uh, Dan, I, 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 I'm forbidden from telling you which coach this was. But I saw a coach in Indianapolis – jog after the Kyler Murray party uh, when he was getting ready to leave town just because mm-hmm. he wanted to meet him, say hello to him, and say, hey, you never know what might happen. And I saw him, and he goes, I, I-, I beg you, you know, just do me <laughs> a solid and don't say that, that – don't don't say what you just saw. But but that's really kind of what it was. And it isn't that – it isn't that guys are gee whiz. I'm a fan of this guy. It's like – uh, I want to be in business with this guy at some point. And so that, that obviously was the most interesting, compelling thing. And, and again, look, it could be that all these defensive guys who are incredibly talented and have these, uh, these great workouts are going to be great NFL players. But uh, this, this guy from, uh, from Mississippi state, you know, sweat who ran the, ran faster than Odell Beckham at the scouting combine. Yeah. You know, as soon as I saw that, I called a couple of guys. And one of the, uh, one of the guys who I called in the NFL, uh, longtime uh, NFL scout uh, and higher than that, said to me, yeah, I saw him a lot this year because we're interested in, in a pass rusher in the draft. So I, I've scouted him a lot. And he goes, he's one of those guys makes an incredible play once you say oh my god he's unstoppable and then uh he'll disappear for a while and so even though i do believe that he's going to get he might even be a first round pick that's the problem with so many of these things at the combine that get people so excited you remember a couple of years ago when this receiver from washington john ross yeah. ran a 4 well the headline last week is bengals have john ross on the block. You know, they drafted him, whatever it was, ninth overall, and now they're trying to dump him. So just you just have to be careful about what you see this time of year. And I found it really ironic that all the talk in Indianapolis from whatever there were, 337 players there, all the talk was about the one guy who did nothing there. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.